All right, welcome back. We are on episode five of the Proximity Retail Super App. Today's feature spotlight is gonna be on outreach and communication channels. So this is gonna be a two-part series. We're part one. Today, we're gonna be focusing on just emailing from inside of our app. So in the previous episodes, you saw maybe that I just signed up a customer that just came in and interacted with the brand for the very first time. His name was Jack Burns. So our system has this logic in the back end that directly correlates with different types of journeys that a typical customer may walk through, whether it's a digital journey or it's an in-person journey. This logic allows for the auto creation of tasks with closed dates or recommended closed dates and also tickler alerts with these tasks. So what that means is when our customer comes in for a simple journey use case, our customer comes in for the very first time, he or she has never shopped with a brand before and we sign them up inside of the system. Well, that individual now prompts an automated task that matches that journey. So in a previous episode, you saw me sign up Jack Burns. So if I go back into the employee hub, which is where I'm sitting right now, it's this first icon, scroll down the list a little bit. You can see there's quite a few uh, tasks in here that Michelle needs to get on top of here. But if I scroll down, you'll see this welcome journey task. Now, this is saying that it's due 1116. So what we've done is in the back end using that if then logic is we set this journey up to say that whenever a new customer comes in and signs up with us for the very first time, we want to send a welcome email to that customer. Now, I have this set up as manual right now, meaning it's going to automatically create the task, but in order for this task to be completed, Michelle has to click into the task, select the welcome email, and send it off to Jack. Once it's been sent off, then the, the task will either automatically close out or Michelle will be prompted to go back and close the task. The other side of this coin is that we can automate this whole entire experience if we wanted to, and some brands do choose to do that. Meaning when Jack comes and signs up, we automatically note that Jack is a new customer, we create the welcome flow, and we can have it fire off the next day, so Michelle never even has to engage. For this specific scenario, we want her to engage because Jack has come in to shop on behalf of his friend Jenny. So what we want to do is we want to say, hey, thanks for coming in and welcome to the brand. What we also may want to do is add some product to that email just to keep that product that he was looking at top of mind. So even if he doesn't purchase today, maybe we can turn him into a, a purchasing customer by the time he gets home or the next couple days as he, as he thinks over what we spoke about in the store. So let's jump into it. So you can see that I have a, um, a time limit on this task that it has a due date automatically set from whenever the welcome journey starts and stops. Now again, this is up to the brand depending on how what the lag time is between sign up to the email going out or when you think it should go out. So this is due in four days. So Michelle's gonna get on the ball today and she's gonna go ahead and click on this task. So she can manually ch select this checkbox and close the task out and send the email herself or she can just click on the welcome journey tab. When Michelle lands on Jack Burns' profile, you'll notice a couple of things right here jumping out on the screen. Down here at the bottom where the activity feed is, you see that I have now a number one here. So that means there's a task that's ready for me to work on for Jack Burns. And all Michelle has done is sign him up inside of the app. She's done nothing else. What you'll also see is on the email icon at the top, there's a little black dot. This is an indicator that a message is ready to be sent out or that needs to be sent out in order to fulfill that task requirement. So what Michelle's going to do, is she's going to click on that email button. Because this is associated with an automated journey, the system has the ability to prompt the user and ask based on the situation what they would like to do. So option one, we can send a welcome journey email, which is a pre-canned template already branded, ready to go, that's going to pull in um, you know, Jack's name directly into the email. It's going to have all of the basic uh, literature that we want to showcase in our email ready to go. So all I got to do is hit select and send and I'm done. Or Michelle can send a ad hoc email where she can go in and choose a template based on the situation and based on the interaction she had with Jack while in the store. So still a lot of flexibility for the associate if the brand deems necessary, but also some guide rails that we can put on to, to help Michelle really do her job effective and efficiently. So for this scenario, we're gonna hit no, send an ad hoc email. And I'll explain why. 
So when Jack was in the store, we know that he was shopping for a friend of his, Jenny. So what I want to do is instead of sending out that welcome email, since we spent a good amount of time, is I'm going to go into my template folders up there. You can see that I had two options. I had clienteling and I also had a marketing. So I can choose from marketing folders, especially if the brand's doing A-B testing. We want to try some different flavors of email templates to see what's hitting and what's not. For today, I'm just going to hit clienteling and I'm going to look at my templates over here on the right hand side. And the one I want to focus on today is going to be thank you for your visit. I want to let Jack know that I appreciate him coming in and spending time with me today. You'll notice right off the bat here that I got my brand pulling in at the top. These are HTML templates in the back end, um, fully controlled, configurable, owned by the brand. So we'll come in, we'll help build out templates, and then we'll train you guys on how to maintain these. It's very, very simple. I'm already pulling in his name, Dear Jack. We can also pull in um, suffixes and prefixes, um, however you'd like, however the customer likes to be communicated with. Um, so we're gonna pull in some basic literature here at the top. I can add a collections, for instance, if I wanted to put a look together for, for Jenny, for him to think about or buy the whole package, I could do that. I also have the ability to go into um, quick collection, and this is where I can tap into my, my product profile. And I can add some items that him and I were, were thinking about today that would be good fits for Jenny. Um, let's just say that you know he, he liked that purse. Let's grab a couple of things here. Um, you know, he thinks that she'll love that dress. So let's put together just a small look here, not to go too crazy, but you can see it's a modular based system. I can drag and drop and really design this in any way I'd like. Um, the other great thing is I have these clickable links. So these links right here actually directly connect to commerce. So what that means is when I'm done with this email and I have it the way I'd want, um, of course I can add live photos if I wanna take a picture, if I wanna hold something up next to me to see what it looks like, if I wanna pull something from our image gallery that's a back-end repository of photos, I can do that. And then of course I can have my sign off at the bottom with a picture or image of me, my name, um, a bio if I wanted, wanted it, and then of course, um, my social media links down here at the bottom, these could be mine. If I'm trying to you know, build myself as a brand ambassador and build my own clientele base, I could do that. A lot of our clients do have them uh, point directly to the brand's uh, social media sites. I'll toggle the preview just to see what it's gonna look like when Jack, uh, uh, when Jack receives it. So there, that all looks great. So now that we have this the way that we want it, we'll click that send button and now we can shoot this out uh, to Jack. We'll get a notification that the email has been sent. We can go in and take a look at that. We have that welcome journey, we just sent it. And again, um, we can automate this, we can make this a manual completion. Um, it's really up to the brand on how they want it, want to do it. And then of course you have uh, the email record of that email being sent out, which I can access at any time and re-reference. And then of course that task being completed. Again, all this feeding back into the database and giving uh, your operations team uh, and headquarters a really, really good insight into uh, the engagement with the app and the engagement with your customers um, with the brand. So check us out, part two coming up. We're gonna talk about uh, other communication channels like SMS, WhatsApp, uh, and many more. So tune in for episode six.